I'm gonna tell you people something right now. You've never smelled anything like this before in your life. Believe me, you have not. Absolutely freaking stellar. No wasting any time. Let's get this underway right now. All right, people, welcome back to my channel. And this, my review of Tobacco Rose coming out of the house of BDK. Now, I'm pretty stupefied with this fragrance. Um, and pardon me, I'm chewing gum. But I'm really stupefied with this fragrance because um, it, it is literally unlike anything I've ever sniffed in my life. Um... And I, and I like that. I do. You know, a lot of people will uh, will will crap on you when it comes to these fragrances because they're so different and they're so, you know, and a lot of people make fun and, and I get it. It's cute. It's funny. Ha ha. But a lot of a lot of what people say about niche fragrances in terms of the negativity, I mean, it's just it's, it's laughable um, and, and far from accurate. But there's a, there's another game afoot there. But that's for another topic. Let me just get into this review. Again, unlike anything I've ever sniffed before, this is absolutely phenomenal. I know I run out of adjectives. Literally, I could bring a thesaurus here and start throwing synonyms around, but look, it, it is what it is, man. The fragrance is phenomenal. Absolutely friggin' incredible. Let me tell you what happens when I spray it on my skin, but before I do, I'm gonna drop the notes on you. Stand by. <laughs> Okay, so for all of the notes that I listed, all right, um, most of them are going to be detectable, um, but it's it's going to be kind of difficult to do, and here's the reason. As soon as you spray it on your skin, well, at least me, as soon as I spray it on my skin, I am absolutely pummeled with extremely peppery roses and lemons right out of the friggin' gate. An, an explosion. Oh my God, man. I'm almost speechless with this friggin' fragrance right here. Um, but I'm gonna try to continue, all right? Once those accords that I mentioned come into the, into the party, they play hard and they party hard while they're there. About an hour, 45 minutes to an hour into this fragrance, then you're gonna start to get the tobacco. But the tobacco, along with most of the other notes in here, with the exception of the pepper and the lemon, um, and obviously the rose, are gonna come in, party, and get the hell out of Dodge. And then what you're left with is a very subdued tobacco and a very dominant rose. I mean, the rose in here, it, it literally, look, this is probably one of, if not the most authentic rose. I know I, I said that, oh God, I, I don't remember. Um, I think it was, I got it. It was Rose de Taif. Yeah, this is right up there in terms of authenticity. 
where the rose is concerned. Very, very authentic smelling rose. Um, it's unmistakable. Unmistakable. Okay, so let's get back to this party, all right? So the other party goers are in there, are at the party, and they're, and they're party and doing their thing. And then just as quickly as they come in, they get a few drinks, get out of there. They're gone. And then, like I said, you're left with a very uh, dominant rose, peppery rose with um, a very subdued tobacco. I mean, the, the rose is like the alpha in this fragrance, um, despite its name. They, sh they literally should flip the, the name of this to friggin' Rose Tabac. Um, but anyway, uh, and I I'll tell you something else too. Like, the rose in this fragrance is so dominant it's a very fast, hard charging rose. It kind of reminds me, and I attribute what I'm about to say to the fact that I used to watch Steve Irwin religiously when he was alive. Um, that dude was nasty, he was awesome. Um, but he taught me a lot about animals. I mean, I was watching Animal Planet and um, you know animal documentaries way before Steve Irwin, but still, um, I, I owe a lot to what I know about animals to that guy. But anyway, the tobacco in this fragrance, when it does make an, its appearance, it makes its appearance really hardcore. I like it, it, it show, it's showing out. It's a friggin' show off, like Mel and Kim. So that's what the, that's what the tobacco does. It comes in hard and leaves just as hard. It reminds me of a, a, uh, a cheetah, all right? And for those of you that don't know, and I'm gonna use the Imperial system and we'll flash the metric in case my overseas people don't know what the hell I'm talking about. The cheetah comes in, it goes from zero to 70 miles an hour in four seconds. All right? Um, and it goes hard, but it can only go hard for like 350 to 450 yards. After that, it is completely tucked out, it's zonked, it's done. It has to rest for a long time before it goes back out and tries to hunt again, okay? That's the tobacco. It's a hard charger, but it ends quickly. The rose in this fragrance is like the African wild dog, all right? It's not a very fast runner, and of course that is um, uh, in comparison to the cheetah. It's no slouch, but it's no cheetah. The African wild dog doesn't have to be wicked, wicked fast, okay? There's no way it's gonna be able to outrun a gazelle. However, it can run for a very long period of time without slowing down. I, I read or I saw on television that the African wild dog is the marathon runner of the animal kingdom, all right? That friggin' thing at a steady lope of 37 miles an hour, for three and a half miles. At 30 miles an hour, okay, it can keep up a, a steady pace at that clip for almost five miles. So no matter what it's chasing, I don't care how fast it is, I don't care how agile it is, it's gonna be tired long before the African dog gets tired and it will chase him down and grab him. That's how successful a hunter the African wild dog is. The African wild dog is like the rose in this fragrance. It doesn't stop. It keeps going and going and going and going. Not a very fast runner, but you know, in comparison to the tobacco slash cheetah, but again, it doesn't have to be. It stays with you for a wicked, wicked long time. Now, I know a lot of guys out there are probably thinking, and everybody asks me whether, when I post my scent of the day on Facebook, if you're friends with me, I say, hey, I'm wearing this today. Invariably, somebody's gonna ask the question, is it for men or women? My answer to that question is always yes. Now that may not make sense to you, but there's a method to my madness. Yes, it is for men and for women. Just like every other fragrance that has ever existed, there is no such thing as gender. Not gonna get into that right now, I'll save that for another video. But you guys already know me. I don't give a damn if it's marketed toward women or men, oddbox, armadillos, brooches, pterodactyls, hats, it doesn't matter. 
If it smells good on me, I'm freaking wearing it. I don't give a damn about the name. I don't care about the color. I don't care about the bottle. I don't care if it says poor own, poor femme, poor puffin. I don't give a damn. I'm wearing it. So if you're going to ask me if it's for men or women, the answer is yes, it is. All right. It smells phenomenal. That's it. That's all that matters. And, for, and you have seen the, the very last video that, that I recorded featured this in, in it. And I think it was number three for the best tobacco. Um, yeah. For, for a rose fragrance. Sheesh. I mean, I, the fragrance is incredible, man. I, I, that's all I can say. I mean, literally, that's all I can say. The fragrance is it's one. I'm going to tell you something for 2020, which by all accounts has been an absolute shit year. Okay, part of my English. Um, you know, this house is brand new to me, and it's a damn good thing that I found it because it's been the only solace, uh, you know, other than obviously my family, where fragrance is concerned, from the crap that 2020 has been. Absolutely incredible fragrance. That's all I got. It is done. Tabak Rose from the house of BDK. One of the most incredible fragrances I've ever smelled in my life. BDK is an up-and-coming house. Mark my words. Oh, and before you guys start throwing words around like hype, stop it. I don't hype a damn thing. I'm very passionate about really good smelling fragrances, and that's all. You can call it hype if you want to. I don't really care. I'm just being real. The fragrance is phenomenal. Done. BDK. Tabak Rose. My next review is soon. I got to get out of here. I'll talk to you later. All right, you Frankhead. Listen up. Cause I got something to say. And remember this. No matter where you go. No matter what you do. Whatever you do. Remember. Gotta smell good. Ah.